Hello everyone! What I have in front of you are pin and pin dimple locks, the most popular of which is by multi lock. On the left, this is the junior. I've checked this for my purple belt. This is the multi lock interactive, which I haven't yet chance to pick. It comes with an interactive element there. And we also have the Abo set which I picked in video number five. It's a very, very cool, very, very high security lock. Okay. Um, but what we are interested in is this one. It's the GSIN Core Lock, model K26. I got this lock from a local locksmith in Guangzhou, China. And this is the tin box that came with it. Okay. We can see on the box the classification level C, which I was led to believe is not an official standard yet. And here's a snippet from Urban Hawk's Chinese lock presentation a few years back. On the back of the box, it shows a cutaway view showing a magnetic element. This is an interesting Chinese lock as I believe we are all under the impression that Chinese locks are inferior and of lower quality. But this one appears to be very, very well made. From the key, we can see that it has five pin and pins. So one, two, three, four, five, which is one more than the opposite and one magnetic element. This is a magnet right here. We can also see three smaller dimples on the other side, which are passive pins and are for cylinder alignment. We'll look at this more when we got it. So this lock also came construction key. So this is the contractor's key and this is the homeowner's key. So once I turn this, a small ball bearing inside will fall into a chamber, preventing the contractor's key from working again. Right, so this one's now disabled, leaving the homeowner's key working. All right, so we'll clamp it up and pick it. Okay, the feedback on this pin and pin is not typical of pin and pin locks, where a massive false set is observed when outer pins are set. The false set this lock provides is rather subtle and not indicative of pins, the outer pins being set. Okay, so pin one, click, two, click, one strap down, click, two, two still set, one set two, three, okay, one strap down, six, So outer pins all looks like they're already set. Inner pins. One, nothing. Two, nothing. Three, nothing. Four. It's blinding. Again, one, nothing, two, three, Right, 
there's nothing there. So let's try again the outer pins. Two, three, four, six. And all set. Alright, they all look set, so let's try to pick the magnetic pin. For the magnetic pin, I'm going to use a 1mm by 1mm neodymium magnet. We'll put it in the chamber, wait for the pin to stick to it, and then we'll release some tension. Hopefully that should put us into a bigger faucet. have a faucet but it's rather very subtle which means there's only one or two pins left to pick so pin three pin four six four three two one so outer pin, one, two, so pin four, one, two, three, four. Right, it's probably an inner pin. All right, there we go. It was pin six. I barely had to touch it. So we have an open on this lock. Just let me get the tension wrench out of there. So it is open. Okay, let's got this thing. Let's get my picks out of the way. Right, we do have the key for it. Okay. okay, so I have taken out the other side. This makes the gutting process a lot easier because we can push the follower through. Okay, so first we need to take out the... Let's take out... See this red clip. All right. Let's make sure this doesn't fall into any of the holes. All right. Okay, follower. Okay. 
Okay. All right. So we see this lock is uh, is construction keyed. So we see a small ball bearing right there, and we see two pins in the bottom. It for the it's for the dimple on here. Well, I'll show it to you later on the core, on the body. I mean, what it's for. But before that, let's look at let's look at the key pins. All right, they look very much like um, multi locks key pins. Okay, even even the core is it has this kind of a grooved. Plug. Okay, so one of the uh, the pins has come out. I'll take the other one out as well. Come on, drop out. Okay, so there's two of them, both in the middle. All right. So pin one. So pin in pin, pin two, pin three, pin four, let's leave pin five in there first. Pin six, pin five is a magnetic chamber. Okay, so they're all pin in pin, right? Now let's look at um, let's look at the driver pins. Driver pin one. It's a torpedo style spool. Very much like the multi locks, I must say. Okay, pin two. Okay, it goes that way. So, torpedo style spools. That's why we get the counter rotation. Pin three. Spring doesn't want to come out. There you go. Pin four. No surprises there. It's the same torpedo spool. Pin five. Well, this is going to be different. And last we have pin six. Surprise, it's still a torpedo spool. So I just noticed there's a small ball bearing that must have come out from the from the plug when I was banging on it. But anyway, we look at now the magnetic element on chamber number five okay so chamber five is this magnetic element it's spring loaded besides besides that the sleeve is okay let's take it out so we have this pin and we have, uh, let me get, uh, 
we have this sleeve. Okay. So the sleeve, there's a spring inside, spring loaded. So when you try to pick this, the sleeve inside moves. All right. So with the magnetic element in in it, they both move. doesn't have to be picked because it's already at the shear line so what we need to do is just pull the magnetic pin down and with the magnet that's what happens pulls it down all right you see that but the magnet does not stick to the pin okay hence we need to Keep pulling on the pick to make sure that the magnetic pin is fully seated. But that's not all. If you look at the chamber, inside there is another magnet. So the, the driver pin pulls up on the magnetic element. So it's there all the time. So when you get the magnet in, it's sort of fighting with the magnet up top, trying to pull it up with your magnet, trying to pull it down. Right, hence, see, there's two magnets there right now. So let me just slide this. Okay, so there's a magnet inside. So this magnet, oops. This magnet pulls on that magnetic element. Very cool. Very, very interesting. Okay, let's make sure we don't lose that. So we put the magnetic chamber on five. The magnets there, this on here. We have the sleeve. All right, there it goes again. So the body of the lock also has this groove right here in the bottom. It mates perfectly with two of the pins here. Which is which mates perfectly with a key. There were three holes, only one of which is being used. So might be some form of um, key control or maybe just an alignment for the key and the plug. We didn't need to pick those. Okay. We also see some drill protection up front right there and nothing else very very cool lock so in my opinion the magnetic element on this little lock is a little bit more dynamic than the one on the avocet 
I would really be interested to know what this lock would be classified under the subreddit rules. But that's all I have for right now. I'll see you on the next one. Keep picking.